Hello, welcome back to Armchair Armory and it has just finished at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal 1, Manchester City 3. Uh, <laughs> I don't even feel like doing this video. Um, where to begin? So I guess the one the one thing to start off with is the, the lineup. Um, Thomas Partey pulled out of the the game just before kickoff um, with a tight muscle, the thigh muscle injury. Um, so Jorginho came in and uh, Tommy Asu replaced Ben White at right back. First half we were absolutely brilliant. Um, although you know we we gave away a very sloppy goal, a bad back pass from from Tommy Asu into the path of. Um, De Bruyne, who just chipped it in, just uh, yeah, it was a very very good finish, but a very sloppy goal to give away. We managed to get a penalty after, well, a suspect penalty after, um, Inketia was fouled by Edison, which Saka converted. Really good penalty, and it was probably what we deserved. We played so well in the first half that it was probably what we deserved. It des we deserved to be level. Came out second half. I thought that we were okay maybe in the first five, ten minutes, and then I don't know what happened. Gave away another sloppy goal that led to a goal from Grealish. Um, just kind of trying to play fancy, the defenders trying to play fancy and giving the ball away and that kind of stuff. And then obviously, you know, the danger of Haaland, as soon as he gets in front of goal and he sees open space, he's going to score. And he was the one that scored the third goal. I kind of knew, I, I think I said in the preview that this is the kind, and I, either in the preview or I said to somebody today, maybe it was even Stefan, I don't know, but um, the other day, that I just, I, I everything that happened, I, I knew was going to happen. I knew that we were going to give away a daft goal. I didn't expect we were going to give away two daft goals, but I knew that we were going to give away two, two daft goals. I knew we would score and that we'd give ourselves hope that we were going to win. And to be honest, like I got caught up in it, as you would do. We, you know, we looked, we played really, really well in the first half. And it looked like it was going to be one of those games where we were going to give it to them. And then second half, it just felt like the, the occasion just got to us. We were sloppy in possession. You know, we weren't taking our chances, particular chance I remember I think it was just after it went to 2-1 after Grealish scored Xhaka has a chance to drive into the box or shoot and decides to knock it onto his left foot instead and I know that's his stronger foot but oh but yeah it just felt like it just I don't know I, I wouldn't necessarily say that we played badly I just in the second half I think we were just I don't know once that second goal went in we just completely I wouldn't I wouldn't even go as far as to say capitulate because that just sounds really reactionary and already I've seen people on social media saying the title was over Kroenke out Edu out Arteta out you guys need to stop that because you're just looking like a meme at this point um and you're just you're just becoming predictable like every time Arsenal lose a game or drop points you're like it's it's like you've got it on copy permanent copy and paste it's ridiculous it's pathetic to be honest but yeah, it's disappointing because, you know, as I said in the preview, if we won today, I would have started to believe that we could win the league. After losing the way that we did, and I, and I wouldn't say it was as a competitive loss as the FA Cup game against City, but it was definitely another, a lesser competitive loss, so to speak. I'm not happy with it, obviously. But now it makes our job a little bit hard, harder. Um because now we've got to go to the Etihad and potentially pick up points. So we've still got a game in hand. We've still got Everton on the 4th of March um, at the Emirates. But, you know, who knows what could happen then. We've got Villa next. And that's going to be difficult in itself. Villa with Unai Emery coming back to face his old club. Which, as I said in the preview for this game, I haven't seen that since George Graham came back for Spurs and managed Spurs. With Arsenal, I mean. Um, so, I mean, like, a manager coming back to play Arsenal, but a manager that was once ours playing 
um, in the Premier League. I mean, because obviously Emery played us in with Villarreal, played against us in as as Villarreal manager. Um, but yeah, all in all, um, there's no use crying over spilt milk. City were the better team, particularly in the second half. Um, they were all over us pretty much all of the second half. We just, sort of, I mean, again, we weren't bad as such. I wouldn't say we were poor. We were just huffing and puffing and not really doing anything, which is kind of like nothing rather than bad, which is in some ways worse. Um, but yeah, disappointing. Very, very disappointing. That's now, it's now turning into a bit of a slump. You know, the last four games that we've played competitively, lost to Manchester City in the FA Cup, lost to Everton in the Premier League a draw with Brentford in the Premier League and now losing to Man City. It's our first loss at home as well. So yeah, we've got to really get on the get on the bike again and try and get something. Hopefully a win at Villa Park on Saturday. Ah, oh, right. I'm going to leave it there. I was really really hoping. I was like I think I said to somebody at work today. I was like Man City like Arsenal need to beat Man City today. Like it has to be done. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I, I still don't think we're going to win the league. I still think that City are now, and it's proven today that they're going to go on a mad run and be with us until the end. And I can imagine if we, if we manage to stay second, um, I can imagine that this is probably going to be like, um, you know, the, the couple of seasons where City and Liverpool basically went to the last day and it looked like Liverpool might win the league and then, you know, like I think last season that happened. So, yeah, that's what I think I think is going to happen. Um, I just, I just can't, I just can't see us winning the league now, um, unfortunately. Because I felt like if you want to be champions, you can't make mistakes to team, uh, give gift goals to teams like Manchester City and that's what we did. So, it dents my slight belief that I had that we could win the league. But it doesn't take away from what this season has become. I think anyone that's screaming Arteta out is an idiot, basically. Like, you you, you can't take away the job that he's done this season. Like, nobody expects... At the start of the season, all you Arteta outers, you were sitting there saying, does it get top four? He's got to go. We look like we're going to get top four. We, we look like we're going to be playing Champions League football next season. And yes, I know expectations change, but that's that's on every individual. That's not a collective thing. Not everybody thought that we were gonna that we were gonna win the league. Um, it's only people that get caught caught up in the social media and YouTube and hype that think that uh, we're gonna win the league. Because I don't know, Robbie on AFTV says we're gonna win the league. So then loads of other Arsenal fans say it. But oh, Robbie said it, so that means I have to believe it now. Um, so so yeah. Um, we just got to carry on and see where we are at the end of the season. And this, for me so far, this season has been been positive. We'll see how we get on in the Europa League as well. Um, but yeah, it all starts again with Villa. We've got to get a result against Villa. And it has to be a win. It has to be a win. Right, I'm going to leave it there. I will be back again uh, towards the end of the week with the preview for... Um, the Villa game. I almost forgot where I was then. Uh, so yeah, until then, take care and stay safe.